When you look at the genes, the genes are the letters. You know, program means planning. Genes are the programs. I told you, you know, fruit flies mating, they have special programs to mate. Well, fruit flies do like that way, according to the programs. <laughs> what about other flies? Um, they don't really care. They don't really care. 
They're not the romantic. Well, every other creatures have their own way to mate. It's not their way. Interesting. We thought we'd do whatever we wanted to do, but actually, it's not. You had dinner, supper this evening, now you're digesting. Now, are you digesting according to your will? No, not really. You don't know how to produce or what kind of uh, gastric juice to digest your food, but your genes know. So according to the program, your genes are producing those gastric juice, and now you're digesting. When we have cancer cells in our body, according to the programs, our genes are supposed to produce some kind of substances to kill the cancer cells. We actually don't know the cancer cells. We don't know. Those fruit flies don't know. But we have a very amazing program which is working. To work the program, the program should be turned on. Now we have learned so far. Now when you think about these kind of things, how do you feel? We say, this is mysterious. This is amazing and mysterious. This is mysterious. How can this program is written, written to our genes and those genes receive the spark, and those genes can be turned on and also turn can be turned off. You know, sometimes our genes are damaged. In that case, you know, what kind of programs do you need? We need the programs to recover, to restore the damaged genes. If you are computer users, if your computer um, has some problems, then you have to restore, reinstall the programs. There are all different kinds of programs in computer. Because the computer makers assumed those kind of cases and situations, and that's how they made the machine. Now, our creator also knew what was going to happen. He assumed that those germs will come in to our body. Our creator knew those cancer cells, and that's why he created those cancer killer cells in our body. This is amazing. We can't just say, oh, you know, we have that kind of program. Then it'll come to you as a fact only. This morning I told you there are facts and behind them there is truth in everything. There must be a existence, an existence who knew what is going to happen to our body, such as like cancers. If you now know this truth, don't you want to know the Creator? Please don't miss, don't pass this fact, this truth. Open your eyes to the truth, the truth the goodness, the beauty. Wonderful. When you realize those three things, 
You are so thankful. You have joy in your heart. Who is that? Who created those things? Wonderful. You're so thankful. Now, when you say you're thankful, Someone, when you thank someone, it means very significant. Just the fact you're alive, you can be thankful. Then your life itself can be the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. Many times we pass that truth, we ignore the truth. You see those wild flowers in the field? If you take a look, so beautiful. Now you can find the reason why those flowers exist. If you take a hard look on those wild flowers, now you will have a chance to see those beautiful flowers, maybe around on Friday, maybe night. This person had uh, colon cancer, third stage. It was about 13 years ago. Of course, he's totally fine now. He's totally recovered, restored. 13 years ago, he got only three months. That's what doctors told him. But after he got covered, he became a photographer. He was not interested in the beauty. But now he's very into the beauty. He was an amateur in the beginning, but now, you know, he won the prize and uh, he sells his pictures. Now he's a very successful man now. He's a photographer. He takes a lot of beautiful flowers. Very beautiful. You know, many doctors and scientists, they had study on the flowers. And they realized those uh, flowers and then everything leaves there, they are all programmed in their genes. In their genes, everything has been programmed. That flower should look like that way, and this flower should look like this way. So even those flowers, they follow the providence. I thought evolution the theory of evolution shows out like that way. I thought I thought revolution theory came from random evolution. I thought it happens randomly, but actually it's not. If it evolves randomly, then everything should be developed randomly. But then it's not. This frog will be this frog, and that frog will evolve this way. Then they say they have natural selection. According to the natural selection, this frog evolves this way. So, evolution theory is not really the randomly. It's not really random theory. So, we have natural selection in revolution. They call this. So, according to the environment, to adjust very well, there is going to be a outer power is working on that each item. That's we call natural selection. 
then it's not evolution. Well, Charles Darwin said this way. If there is no natural selection, then this is going to be crazy. They can't choose the species. So there is nothing random in this world. So we ourselves are not supposed to live whatever. We need to follow the order. We live according to the order. Not chaotic, not chaotic way. We follow the odor, which has made already. Now let me show you this. This is a very, very significant scene. You know, we have a painter, volunteer, Mrs. Lee. When she came here, she had six months left only. She had colon cancer. It was spread it out. Now, when she came here, she looked at the picture and she was sure that she could get healed. Now this picture, how can this picture help her? No, the turtles are going to the sea. That's the end. If you appreciate this picture like this way, then that's it. That's the end of it. But that is not it. You didn't see the truth. You only saw the fact. When you see the truth through this picture, your genes will be turned on. Your genes will be very surprised. You have to see the truth. When you look at these kind of pictures, you need to be thankful. You have to realize the truth. That is how you can find the healthy lifestyle. Now, those turtles are going to the sea. Hmm. How come all the little baby turtles are going toward the sea? Hmm. Is that natural selection? It's not random. It should be random. You know, they should go this way and that way, all different direction they should go. Some of them should go to the mountains and some of them go to the sea and all around the directions. But if you see this picture, you know they have a way to go. Already planned. You know, those little turtles don't know where the sea is. You know, to hatch these eggs, it takes uh, 50 days. Now, mother says, you know, little babies, after you're hatched, come toward the sea, okay? No, mommy's already gone. It's been 50 days. But these little babies are all going toward the sea. They don't go to everywhere. They have a sp specific one way. Same way. Very hard. What happened to them? How come this can happen? You know salmon? 
Do you know where they go to hatch, to lay eggs? Yes, where they are born. They go back to where they are born to lay eggs. That's very interesting. So you know those salmons from Surat Mountain, their valley, you know, they go to the uh, east coast and they go to Lusen Ocean. It's like a far, far. They have no idea where they're born because it's too far. They travel around more than thousands and thousands of miles they travel around. Now, four years later, these salmons come back to where they're born. Now, scientists explain this phenomena in this way. You know these salmons? Ooh, they have really nice nose. They can smell the water where they're born. That's and that's how they could come back. Is that true? Is that correct? Me, I was like, mm, well, come on, four years later, they've been playing near Alaska. And then they smell the water where they're born? Hmm. To me, it doesn't make sense. That's too much. Too much imagination. But that is the only way the scientists can explain. But that's the theory, actually. Officially made theory. But today, I'm going to prove you that is not correct. That is not true. If you know the truth, salmons can go back to where they're born, even though they don't know the smell of the water. That is important. After I explain this, you will have your own hope about your problems. But if you have no idea after you listen to me, then um, you need to think deeply. Because you haven't thought about this kind of problems. You only thought about money. You only thought about your reputation and your um, daughter's and son's future. You are a little numb and dull to truth. Now, you are sick. Now, you need to be very sensitive to the spark, the truth, the goodness, and the beauty. Now, because you're here, you have no idea our President Lee Myung-bak in Korea got inauguration. Now, we are dull to the world, but now we are very sensitive to the truth and the goodness and the beauty. Our president's inauguration has nothing to do with your health. The most important thing to you is now truth, the goodness, and the beauty. That is important. You have to restore these things in your life. Then you will become very happy, extremely happy, and very healthy. Your turned off genes will be turned on. Now, listen very careful. Now, salmons don't have to remember the smell of water where they're born. Now, you know, mother turtle came 
50 days ago from Okinawa, little island from Okinawa, Japan. Now, these, this island is near Guam. Now, Mother Turtle from Okinawa. swam about 2,000 kilometers. Now, what is the reason for her to come to this island? Okay, lay eggs. Yes, okay. Well, that's the fact. To lay eggs, yes, that's the fact. Of course, she came to lay eggs, but why here? Why this place? Because she has good, <laughs> because this island has good <laughs> condition, <laughs> then you mean, you know, Mother Turtle looked around <laughs> and <laughs> find <laughs> the best place to lay eggs? <laughs> mm, no, not really. <laughs> because on this shore, 30 years ago, she was born. <laughs> right in the place. <laughs> Then she smelled 30 years ago, <laughs> the <sm> water <laughs> of 30 years ago. I mean, it's going to be the same. It's going to be a little salty. They have about the same taste. So scientists don't explain this situation. They smell the water where they're born. Now, how do the scientists explain this? Oh, they say these mother, mother turtles come she followed the stars. <laughs> they must be very intelligent. Oh, that's the, the star up in the north. And oh, so scientists explain this way. To me, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. You know, it's like, uh, that was early 1970s, and this person, uh, this person's daughter got married, and she went to America. Now, this granny got American visa, and she made money for the ticket, and she came to see her little grandson, you know, 1970s in Korea, the situation was not so good. Now, she came to America to see her grandson. This grandson was playing with the uh, toy cars, and this toy car was remote control toy cars. Now, 1970s Korea was very poor, so she didn't know, she wouldn't even, she couldn't even imagine the car is controlled by remote control. This is a toy, you know, cars. She wouldn't, she wouldn't be even able to understand even though she is explained. Now the car is moving, of course, according to the remote control, the car, you know, came, the toy car came through her and then went back to the grandson. Now, what did the grand granny said? She thought this car moved by itself. So this granny said, oh, America is such a good place. Toy cars are even smart. She didn't know her grandson controlled this toy car. If you don't know who is controlling behind, beyond, then we say, oh, you know, the turtles are so smart, salmons are smart. But that is not true. Uh, 
you know, these little turtles are going toward the sea. Well, they don't know that where the sea is. They don't even know the fact that they are supposed to go to the sea. Why should I go to the sea? Why do they go to the sea? Why do they have to go to the sea? You know, these turtles go toward the sea, of course, all of them. Have they ever been there? They've never been to the sea. They've never been to the sea, but they know how to get to the sea. You know, when they are in the sea, then, you know, when they were, you know, in the seashore, they're like walking, uh, crawling. But once they got to the water, they're swimming. They don't know what the water is. That's the first time they face the water, but then they swim. They've never taken swimming lessons. We say this is instinct. Now, instinct means the program has already been recorded. They've never done this. But then the program is recorded and they do according to the program. So they have this swimming instinct. They've never learned how to swim, but then they're programmed to swim. So somebody already told them to go to the sea and to swim when they face the water. Oh, they try and then they go forward. You know, they've been, you know, swimming for a while and now they got hungry. Now something is passing through, you know, before them, but they have no idea what they are, but then they get hungry. If they do they eat whatever they want to eat? No. Their food is already chosen. That's jellyfish. Those little baby turtles, their plan to eat those jellyfish. They have no appetite on other things, but then they saw something whitish things flying and floating over here and there. And as they looked at that, ooh, their mouth watered. They have never tasted it, They want to, but they want to eat it. They're programmed to eat it, to eat the jellyfish. You know, some baby turtles say, you know, I want to eat that. What about you? And the other one says, you know what? I feel like too. Now, without exception, all the baby turtles want to eat that jellyfish. Why? Because they're programmed to eat the jellyfish. This is not the turtle's will. Of course, the way the fruit fly is made is not the fruit fly's will. Isn't this amazing, interesting? Now they ate jellyfish, and then now after that, you know, their food changes according to their age. So finally, they're heading toward where? Do they go all different directions? No, they go to a certain direction. They go to Okinawa, Japan. Have they ever been there? Have they smelled the water there? They had no destination. But then they go to Okinawa. 
examines, they don't have to remember the smell, but then they can go back to where they're born. It's not salmon who, which are going, but then somebody is controlling. Somebody's using the remote control. Somebody's sending the spark to control. You have to know this. After listening to this story, volunteer Miss Lee, Mrs. Lee, got cured. Why? Because as she looked at this, if this these turtles go to Okinawa, I can go to. Okinawa as well. Yes. Not by my will, my strength. But according to the spark. If somebody is sending the spark to me, if I feel that spark, I will find my own way to Okinawa. Yes, definitely. Okay, it's kind of, okay, let's specifically focus. Ah, because this is the way it is. Now, if I get sick, now I am sick, that where is Okinawa? Yes, to get healed. That's Okinawa. That's where you should to go. You should go. My gene changed because I controlled. And that's why I got cancer. But if I leave my changed cancer cells to someone who sent me the spark, then I can go back and I can restore my genes so that I can go to Okinawa. So you have to see the truth in this picture. So when you listen to the lecture about genes, you have to apply. You have to apply the truth to yourself. Everybody think. From the little wild flowers in the field, through fruit flies, and those turtles. Yeah, everything has been in the providence. Now, if you're sick, then you're supposed to get healed. That's where you're in right now. You're supposed to be healed. So you start to practice is based on this truth. Now, what I learned, it doesn't have this truth. You know, what I learned, we used to say, you know, this is not going to work. This disease, this cancer is not going to work. But then we just give treatment. There's going to be no healing, but um, maybe you can leave at the most one year. But if you have this treatment, um, you will have 50% of possibility to possibilities to extend your life one year to one and a half year, something like that. They don't give you hope. Why? Because they don't see the truth. They can't see the truth. If you can't see the truth, there's no hope. If these turtles can go to Okinawa, even though your doctors say you can live only for six months, 
He's just telling you the st st stati statistical fact. That's not the truth. Don't be fooled by the fact. New Start is the true medicine. Well, you know, I was a doctor. I used to be a doctor explaining the fact. I always give my patients disappointment. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. You know, when I had those kind of um, diseases, I said to myself, oh, it's not going to work. I gave up. I was in despair. When you give up, when you di are disappointed, it means you deny the truth because you're fooled by the fact. Isn't this foolish things to do? How can you deny the truth with the fact? Because of the fact. You know, you see the waterfall, Yosemite waterfall? Just the water out of the rocks. Beautiful? No way. It's like the same way. If you apply the truth truthfully to your life, then you will succeed. So in any kind of situation, you will have hope. There's going to be no disappointment, no despair in your life if you have truth. You know, somebody got better. He overcame his disease. You know, we're about to give him operation because he's going to give him like operation because we thought he can get the operation. So we opened up, but then the cancer was spread it out. So we just close up and say, I'm sorry, you will have only three or four months. You know, in America, you have to tell the patients you have no hope and things like that. You know, in Korea, of course, we keep those kind of things secret. But then in America, you have to tell them the truth because they have the right to know. So, you know, doctors say, uh, you have only three months left. So this person says, okay. Now, the point is after you sa he said, okay. Now, after you hear three months, if you say, let's imagine, oh, I have only three months left. Oh, my. Oh, I've never lived a happy life. And oh, if you do this, if you think this way, you can't even make three months because your genes will be turned off. There is no truth and goodness and the beauty. The genes will be turned off faster. Oh my goodness, one month passed and I have only two months left. If you do this way, you can't live three months. But this person says, okay, three months left? Wow, I'm so thankful that I have more than a month. Three months? Oof, I have a lot left. I'm going to do what I, what I couldn't do before I will enjoy okay I will enjoy my life and I'll finish my life now this person never seek the truth you know before he was in stock business you know he was a broker you know, if you go to the Wall Street, you know, you see people crazy, you know, when they sell and buy those stocks. But instead, he calmed himself down. He decided not to worry about the money. He started to search on the Internet. Oh, this goes this way and that goes that way and he tried to seek the truth 
And when he found the truth, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. He realized the truth and the goodness and the beauty. Now his turned off genes got turned on. You see the waterfall, Yosemite? You know the mountain, mountain is very deep. So nobody knew that the waterfall exists. Do you know who found that waterfall? You know, there at the time, California was very famous for gold. Now this miner, this person who was looking for uh, the gold, he found this waterfall while he was looking for the gold. When he found the waterfall, he said, oh, if I die, I want to bury here. Now he went back to where he belonged. Now two years later, he was coughing. So he went to the hospital and found out that um, he had the last stage of pneumonia. He had only one or two months left. So he said, well, if I have two months left, then I'm going to this waterfall before I die. So he went there. You know, he set the tent. You know, he stayed there. He got cured. What did he do there? Oh, he saw the beauty, yeah, the spark. He received the spark. He had fresh air and the fresh water. And, you know, he was growing vegetables. He practiced new start there. And his pneumonia went away. And now he went out after that, and then he talked about this waterfall to people. That's the history of Yosemite waterfall. Now you are in your own Yosemite waterfall here. Wow, new start. I hope you get this waterfall in your life. Oh, I didn't know this truth before. What an amazing truth. This is someone's plan. This is someone's plan that you're here and you hear the new start and your genes will be turned on and you will get healed. This is the way to truth and to Okinawa. Jesus in the Bible said, I am the way, I'm the truth and the life. Do you understand? The way to light truth, the way to the truth is the way to the life. Isn't this amazing? Now, this is proved scientifically. Now, Jesus didn't say it only. I am the way, the truth. He didn't just say it. The way of truth is the way of life. Now, you have to go and walk along the truth. Not the way to analog, but the way to digital. There's no truth in analog. This is just temporarily you're relieving your pain. Not for good, but, but just temporarily you're relieving your pain. That's all. So when you study genetics, Ah, these genes are somebody's plan. Yeah. 
that somebody has higher intelligence because this person is doing something I cannot do. So this person knows these turtles are from Okinawa. This person is a very interesting person who knows how the fruit flies made. He's very intelligent, but also he's very um, humorous, and he's a wonderful designer because he designed Kanna. You know, he's not that you know economical. He doesn't really care about you know economical things. In a way. What did I say? Love knows the need of opponent, the others. If God creates a man, God really dearly loves the man. Why? Because he made all the genes according to our need. Yeah. That's why we say our creator is love. So it is proved. If you look at, if you look into the genes, you can say that without doubt. Now genes we call base sequence. Yesterday we talked about chromosomes. Those are the bundle of thread, and that's the bundle of the thread. Those are the genes. Now, let's uh, magnify this thread. There's a double helix, the one and the other, double helix. And in between two lines, four different kinds of bases are there, red, yellow, green. What kind of structure? Yes, they have assembled structure. They, they have a character of assembled structure. What's the character? Assembled structure is easy to fix. You can substitute if it's broken. Because gene is assembled structure, so genes can be repaired when it's broken. Isn't this amazing? That's how it is. We didn't know this truth. When I was in medical school, I didn't know. So we call this DNA double helix. And these four bases, what are the four elements? Now these brown thing and four bases. So we have only six. A, T, G, C, four bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, well, you don't have to memorize these things, but you can. But if you remember ATGC, ATGC, that'll be fine. Now, those white stuff are the sugar, and those uh, brown ones are the phosphoric. So, one base and one sugar and one phosphoric. We call this one DNA. DNA has base, sugar, phosphoric. They, those three are the base, basic. And according to the base, the nucleic acid changes. You know, see, you assemble that way. 
So it's connected that way. And if you twist, that'll be double helix. That is our gene. You know, those two lines, they're just lines. But that A, T, G, C, those four bases, according to the order, meaning changes. According to the gene sequence, it changes. You know, English is the same way. According to the order, the meaning changes. Let's say, for example, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God, but forgive me. Let's say G, O, D. According to this sequence, it means God. G, O, D spelling is God. But then the sequence has changed, so D came first. Then God can be like, you know, dog. Even though the spelling is the same, but if the arrangements are different, then the meaning is changed. So if your gene has problems, if your gene has changed, it means those four bases are changed. The sequence of four bases are changed. So my name is Lee Sang Gu, but if you call Gu Yi Sang or Sang Yi Gu, doesn't mean that's me. So the arrangements, very important. We call this base sequence. Repeat after me. Yes, gene sequence. People live in 21st century, you need to understand this gene sequence. So when you go to the hospital, when you talk to your doctor, oh, my kidney is not good, my liver is not good, you know, that's, that doesn't sound intelligent. Doctor, you know, uh, I think my liver has uh, problems with its own uh, gene sequence. And then your doctor will be very surprised. Th wh what? What did you say? Then what would you say? What would you answer? You know, I, you know, I searched, I researched, I studied. You know, okay. So that's gene sequence. So the problem of gene sequence. And then let's say, even though the gene sequence has no problem, but if it's turned off, then you have a problem. Turned on, turned off, and the gene sequence has changed. Those three change cause you sick. So to get better, those who are turned off should be turned on. Those who are turned on should be turned off. And those sequences are changed, then those sequences should be restored, should go back. Now, how can we take those sequences back? There is a program. In your DNA, there is a program to arrange correctly. If the gene works, then those changed order will go back to where they were. So those cancer cells have problems in sequence. So if those cells go back to where it was or what it was, then those cancer cells will change into the normal cells. So natural therapy in cancer is possible. Now, however, you can't do this even though you try very hard. Well, you don't even know the original gene sequence. 
You don't know, even though it's your gene, you don't know your own gene sequence. Now, who knows this? It's the maker who made your genes. You know, letters? Letters should be invented by someone. No, letters cannot be made spontaneously. That's nonsense. I don't really understand evolution evolutionists. They know the gene is the letter, but then they say, you know, that, that just happens spontaneously. You know, every letter has grammar and everything. It's not right. You know, there are about 52 tribes in China. They have languages. Those minorities have their own language, you know? Well, in case of Korean Chinese, they have the letters. But many of those minorities have no letters. Those who have no letters, they are deteriorating. Those who have letters, those who know their identity, they stay alive. How come Chinese Koreans, Korean Chinese have letters? Why? Because they made letters. Those who don't have letters, why? Because they didn't make them. They didn't make the letters. If you don't make it, there's no letter. So letters can be existed when it is made. Your genes are made, and those genes are the letters. And then, now what? Are you created or are you evolved? You are created. So there is a creator. No, the creator, why did he make the letters? Because he has his own planner. Oh, if the cancer cell happens, then oh, let's kill these cancer cells. If the germ comes in, let's kill these germs. And so forth. His programming. So that I can just click. I can just start the genes to work. Of course, this, this is controlled by wireless remote control. Now I'm controlling my computer with wireless mouse. So God can use this wireless remote control to, to each and everybody. He's really good at computer, I guess. He can just click and click and click to everybody because he know, he's love. He knows all the need in us. So according to the program that he made, he's turning on the genes to heal them. Please receive this click. <laughs> believe in Jesus and, and go to heaven. If you don't believe Jesus, you will go to hell. Come on, you're insulting God. This is so beautiful. God never pushes people. God doesn't give us sickness or God doesn't even heal us because he wants to. He really respects our decision. He respects our freedom of choice. He gave us this freedom of choice. So even though we make a wrong decision, He's very upset, sad, but he can't.
be angry with us because he gave us the freedom of choice. Why did you make this decision? He can't say that. Even though we make a wrong decision, he can't, he can't do anything because he already gave us a freedom of choice. So our crea creator's love is never angry. And also he never does, he and he's never rude. He gave us a freedom of choice. And he wouldn't say, don't do this. And do you want to die? <laughs> he never will do that. Because he gave us a freedom of choice. So love is patient. Why? Because he gave us a freedom of choice. He should be patient. Well, he gave us a freedom of choice. What can he do? So this world is very difficult. The reason why is because our Creator gave us the freedom of choice. So you shouldn't complain. So don't complain, because this is a result of our freedom of choice. Even though North Korean leader chose that kind of decision, you know, he can't be angry at him. Just He can just say, turn back to me. If there's no freedom of choice, you know, but we can say, you know, he's such a bad guy. Why do you keep him alive? He gave us freedom of choice. You know, Hitler, God wanted him to live. But then Hitler killed himself. When he killed himself, I'm sure God has tears in his eyes. Why did you choose that way? I loved you anyway. That is our God, and that God is going to heal you. Now let us sing, God is good. Please feel how good our God is. Quite a list sing this beautiful song with me. Our Creator, loving Father, 
our body consists of cells. And when we open the cell, we see the letters, the genes. This is amazing. We are created with plan. And that's the truth. We don't exist not only to eat and excrete and sleep, but also we exist to find out the spark, which is the beauty and the goodness and the truth. Now, Father, we realize this truth now. Father, you planned a way for us to go, but we thought we could live whatever we wanted to live. Now, Father, We want to go to the way, to the truth that you have already prepared. Please lead us. Now, Father, please turn on those turned off genes and please restore those genes in us. Pray these things earnestly in Jesus' name. Amen. Now everyone, encourage each other, you know, pet each other, you know, sleep well, have a wonderful rest. It's beautiful.